Just so you know, the device that you're watching this video on is watching you. In fact, I can see you. Why aren't you wearing pants, you sicko? Every single one of us uses technology in our daily lives. In fact, we've become pretty reliant on it. But what if I told you that your tablet, cell phone, or pretty much everything else is actually watching you? Here are 10 shady ways technology is spying on you. Number 10 are modern cars. Modern day cars are loaded with different technologies that are intended to help you navigate and keep your hands and eyes glued to the road in front of you. Now, while these features are extremely convenient for your drive, they can also be used to peer into your private life. For instance, the data from GPS software installed in modern cars can be stored and uploaded to the manufacturer who can then sell it to companies that want to know where you live and where you tend to visit. In fact, any information that your car is picking up from you via your GPS voice command microphone or built-in phone docks can be sold to advertisers, market researchers, or buyers of all kinds for shady purposes at a major profit to the car manufacturer. So if you're ever heading to a private location, you know, maybe getting a little freaky somewhere, remember that your car knows where you've been. Honey, the recent places on the GPS says private eyes. What's that? Number nine are cookies. Oh, cookies, I love cookies. No, no, not the delicious kind. More like the I'm watching every single website that you visit kind. Cookies are small text files that save information from your interactions with websites and help personalize the content that you see. Each time you visit a site, that cookie gets sent from your browser, kind of like a written history of your time there, helping to auto-complete usernames and passwords or get you past a welcome screen for newcomers. Now, while many legitimate websites use these cookies for the browser's benefit, other more nefarious cookies will track all of your browsing history. Yeah, all of it. And these cookies filled with all your browsing habits are often sold to marketing companies or even the government, depending on what you've been looking at. That's right, all your Googling of big booty goats, the government knows. Clearing your browser's cookie cache helps once in a while, but in some cases, your internet history is getting uploaded to strangers and not even private browsing can help with that. Yeah, that's right, the government knows what you've been looking up, so you might as well tweet it proudly, hashtag big booty goats. <laughs> Number eight is movement tracking. Your smartphone is a sophisticated device packed with several small gadgets that help to determine where you're going and what you're doing. Several companies offer software for business phones that allow employers to keep tabs on their employees out in the field using GPS, accelerometers, gyroscopes, and barometers all included in their smartphones. They can spy quite efficiently on employees and can discern with surprising accuracy what they are doing and if they're doing an Enough work. Now here's the fun part. This software is not necessarily restricted to business owners and could be used to creep on just about anyone who leaves their phone unattended long enough to install the software. This is the tracking software that you absolutely don't want any disgruntled ex-partners or, you know, creepy stalkers getting their hands on. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm, just go take a shower, honey. It's all good. No, you don't need your phone. You don't need your phone. Number seven are smart TVs. With smart TVs everywhere, the government and television manufacturers have new ways to use our own technology to extend their all-seeing eyes. Some companies literally install secret network back doors for government agencies so that they can remotely activate any microphones or cameras installed into your entertainment device. Oh, but Matt, I don't have a smart TV. I'm safe. It's all good. No, you're not. For the TVs that aren't smart enough for mics and cameras, they can still connect to your Wi-Fi and can still watch programs with you in order to catalog your interests or suggest new products by sending your data back to the creeps at marketing headquarters. Pretty much any technology with the word smart in the title is smart enough to lure you into a purchase with flashy features only to then stab you in the back and report back to its overlords. And this is very true because one time I said out loud that I'm thinking about buying a bidet and I had my phone with me. The next Next day, every single ad on my Facebook feed was just water spraying poop toilets. Number six are public and private security cameras. 
Unless you're a hermit in the deep woods living with the squirrels, Big Brother is probably watching you via public security cameras, which are becoming more and more prevalent in even the smallest towns. Publicly owned and privately owned security cameras are popping up in major American cities like Chicago, which in 2013 had over 22,000 cameras in operation. Now, the cameras have been successful in lowering the crime rates, which is great, but at the cost of tainting any feelings of privacy that pedestrians may have as they stroll around the city. But here's the disturbing part, the surveillance doesn't end at streets and intersections. Cameras are even being installed on public transport buses and subways as well as in schools. Security cameras in schools are especially popular in the UK where cameras aren't just found in classrooms but in the change rooms and bathrooms as well. So next time you enter a public restroom and sit down, make sure you look around because they're about to watch you Squirt one out. Number five is call listening. With all the advances in intrusive technology, it's no surprise that if you need to listen in on someone's calls, read their texts, or view their mobile browsing history, there's an app for that. Here's a question for you. Have you ever been given a smartphone as a present? Because if you have, you might want to give it back. That's because unless you really trust that person, they could have installed the easy to use software by a company named Mobile Spy. It allows them to know literally every single thing you do with that phone and even gives them a colorful flowchart. And on this spike, you can see that he Googled big booty goats again. He likes it. Yes, you can become phone tapped or even become the tapper for just $140 a year and skip the effort of eavesdropping the old fashioned way. Mobile Spy is actually marketed towards business owners who want to spy on their employees and parents who think that monitoring their children at this level of secrecy is healthy. <gasps> hey, hey Timmy, I see what you're Googling in your room. Boy, you going to church. You need Jesus, boy! Number four are Roomba maps. And you thought there was no consequence to having a little robot vacuum do the cleaning for you. You were wrong. Roombas are cute little robot vacuums that can do no wrong, right? Some people go as far as giving affectionate names to them, as if they're an animatronic made off the Jetsons. But while this friendly little dust buster is scooting around your dwelling, it's secretly making a digital blueprint of your place. Now thankfully, the software update allowing it to send this detailed camera blueprint to its manufacturer I robot is still pending, but it gets worse. Through small print legal terms that are accepted by purchasing the Roomba, customers have technically already given consent to send off the Roomba's data, which iRobot may use themselves or sell to companies like Google or Amazon. Yep, this little vacuum buddy is a traitor, a spy, and he's planning on selling the blueprints of your home. Yeah, that's right. Next step, it's gonna become sentient and vacuum your face in your sleep. <sighs> you did. Number three is webcam spying. Webcams were once considered the next step in online communication, but now it seems that it could be the next big step towards mass surveillance and a peephole into your private life. Many modern computers come with built-in webcams, but people tend to cover them with stickers when they aren't in use. This is because of how incredibly easy it is for hackers to remotely activate them. Think about it, have you always covered it? Always, even when you're doing nasty things. And it gets worse because if you're the type of person that leaves your laptop open or doesn't power down your PC or Mac often, you could be spied on while you're doing things in your home. Gaining remote access to your personal webcam is literally as easy as accidentally clicking the wrong link. Or someone just even having access to your Wi-Fi. How many times have you given out your Wi-Fi password, hmm? To strangers, people coming over, you know what they doing. Number two is buzzword listening. Tech companies have nearly unrestricted access to your phone with apps like Facebook Messenger and the voice activated OK Google feature. When these apps are given permission to use your microphone for calls, voice commands, or shooting video, they can stay active and listen. For example, ever notice that Facebook's ads can be shockingly relevant to something you were just talking about? One Reddit user describes testing this theory by saying SpongeBob SquarePants several times into his phone 
phone without activating the search function only to have it later appear in his search suggestions. Oh, Mr. Krabs, they're watching us. Others have seen entire language changes in the ads that they're served when their phone has been near foreign TV shows. Now, Facebook says they only monitor your likes and interests on the site, but it seems evident that there's a lot more to it than that. Okay, be right back. Just gonna break my phone in half. And number one are mannequin cameras. And you thought mannequins were already creepy enough with their frozen features and lifeless plastic eyes. But you're about to feel a lot worse about walking near them when you learn that some of them are literally staring back at you. An Italian mannequin developer called Almax has created models that will watch and scan your face in order to help stores better understand who buys clothes from them. They're called IC mannequins and they create customer profiles on people that browse various chain stores in Canada, the United States, and the UK. IC has been in use since 2012 at a cost of around $4,250 a piece. Almax also sells smart mannequins, which can communicate with your phone via Bluetooth and monitor your purchases as well as send you messages about products when you get near them. Well, if you had a dollar mannequin phobia before, you're welcome. <laughs> So that was 10 shady ways that technology is spying on you. Hopefully you learned a little something from this. Just be very cautious, people. But as always, if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. So be ready, folks. It's coming at your phone. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>